Fix Wi-Fi not working on Mac after the Mac OS Monterey update. Restart the router. If your Wi-Fi stops working, the first thing you should do is restart your router. Find the button at the back of the router and press it to turn the router off. Wait for a few seconds and press the button again to turn the router on. You can also unplug it entirely from the power source and plug it back in after a few seconds. Restart your Mac. Another quick and simple thing you can do is to restart your Mac. A restart can get rid of any minor bugs and glitches that might have occurred when your Mac was turned on. Re-add your Wi-Fi network. Click on the Apple logo. Select System Preferences. Then go to Network. On the left sidebar, select your Wi-Fi connection and click on Advanced. In the Wi-Fi tab, under Preferred Networks, select your Wi-Fi. Then, click on the minus button to forget it. Click on OK, and on Apply, next to the network name, select your Wi-Fi. Enter the Wi-Fi password and click on Join. Update your Mac. Click on the Apple logo and select System Preferences. Then, go to Software Update, wait while your Mac searches for updates. If found any, click on Update Now. Switch to a 5 GHz band. If you have a dual band router, you can also try to switch from the 2.4 GHz band to the 5 GHz band. From the menu bar, click on the Apple logo. Click on System Preferences, then go to Network. On the right side, click on the Advanced button. In the Wi-Fi tab, under Preferred Networks, locate your 5 GHz network and drag it to the top, so your Mac joins it. Run Wireless Diagnostics Open Wireless Diagnostics. Use Spotlight to do so. From the menu bar, click on Window then select Performance. The Wi-Fi Performance window will appear. You'll see your network's rate, quality, and signal strength. All graphs should be more or less consistent. Run Apple Diagnostics. To run Apple Diagnostics for Intel processor, press your Mac's power button. Then, press the D key on your keyboard at the same time your Mac starts to boot. When asked to choose the language, release the D key and select your language. When the hardware test is initialized successfully, wait for about 2 to 5 minutes. You'll get the diagnostics report. Make sure to write down the report codes you get. You can then Google the meaning of the code or contact Apple support, and they will explain it to you. To run Apple Diagnostics for Apple Silicon, press and hold your Max Power button. When you see the Startup Options window, release the Power button. Press and hold the Command and D keys on your keyboard. Then, click on I Agree. When the hardware test is initialized successfully, wait for about 2 to 5 minutes. You'll get the Diagnostics report. Make sure to write down the report codes you get. You can then Google the meaning of the code or contact Apple support, and they will explain it to you. Change the DNS servers. Click on the Apple logo. Click on System Preferences, then go to Network, choose your Wi-Fi, and on the right side, click on the Advanced button. Go to the DNS tab. Now, click on the plus button and enter the 208.67.222.220 server. Click on the plus button again and enter the same server for the second time. When done, click on OK and then on Apply. Change DNS settings. From the menu bar, Click on Go and select Go to Folder. In the path bar, enter slash library slash preferences slash system configuration slash. Then, select these files. Drag them to a separate folder for backup. Now, delete the selected files from the system configuration folder. Reset System Management Controller and Parameter Random Access Memory or Non-Volatile Random Access Memory. To reset the System Management Controller on your Mac, visit our guide linked below for more information. To reset Parameter Random Access Memory or Non-Volatile Random Access Memory, shut down the Mac. Turn it on, simultaneously hold the Option Command P and R buttons. Keep holding this combination for at least 20 seconds, your computer should appear to be restarting. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising-supported software. 
The disk cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.